Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3, and we are still are attempting our largest mega city builds ever and so far we've had uh, success with hitting 60,000 population, 100,000 population and today I want to cross to as high as I possibly can. And now for those of you who aren't aware we are using Augustus which is an open source port of Caesar 3. You can get that the links down below and it is basically there are roadblocks and there's a five time sprite limit and various improvements with how granary roads operate and stuff like that uh, but the options are pretty much the same as part one if you want to see this this is technically part three anyway let's jump into the game and I've tweaked the map from last time no more functional nice map I'm going for the absolute maximum population I can with no other requirements. No other requirements, just max population. I'm even leaving God Curses off from the start. Uh, just so, you know, we might deal with that at the end, but I just want to go for population. And you can see I've been playing on farmland, a map I made. We are now on max farmland, a tweaked version of the map. Let me pop into the map and show you what we're dealing with. It is optimized for the build I'm doing with small cars. As you notice, the the it's no longer an island nation. It is straight up almost landlocked. Uh, I did leave this in just because I don't know if it's required. But uh, we it, it the the part on the map is uh, we are technically need some coasts. So I just left that little corner in. But it's no longer an island. That arrow is glitched out the spawn points of people are there and there and I just crammed all the fishing spots there the rest of it is just 100% farmland except for here where I've mapped out a few water spots for reservoirs because in this build we're using small casas so we don't need pottery we don't need the water for pottery right we don't need any resource productions at all so let me show you the build I'm doing by building one block I'm gonna put down these reservoirs first and let me just start by extending out some aqueducts. Now this is mapped so that they should, as far as I've tested, be able to go in straight lines so it's nice and clean as well. And we're gonna have uh, three from the edge, two from the aqueduct, and we're gonna have a five wide inner area. Three, four, five. And then we're going to have 16 this way. Uh, shouldn't the aqueducts hug the edge of the map instead? Uh, you could, but it doesn't matter much. I'm basically just using a bit of desirability there, uh, so they can reach small casas, and it worked either way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's that. And I already know how far we need to go here up to there, to loop round to there. This is essentially what we're doing. But also, uh, oh, that goes there. Um, this goes here. And so we got two main fountains, which can just about reach, but there's not much coverage here. So just to guarantee coverage, we squeeze in a fountain there, and we squeeze in a fountain there. And uh, we pop a fountain. There's two more fountains that will be going around there. But let's start by getting some people moved in, so we can actually get things building. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, we can fill the middle with gardens. Uh huh. People are moving in before anyone gets unhappy. Let me drop taxes to zero and raise wages by eight for maximum happiness. Let's wait for people to move in. So the spawn points are just next to... It's there and there. It, they spawn there, they exit there. So as long as we don't block off this area, it should be fine. Come on. Let's get this initial people moved in, and then we can start building up the rest of this. So, prefecture goes down here, away from where the granary is. Engineer's post goes there. And then we go granary. Up against the road. The road will extend out. We will roadblock this. If you're playing on vanilla, gatehouse goes there, right? Doesn't matter too much. Um, 
And then we go farms. We need eight farms. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And also to guard the farms, we do this. Now, if you're on vanilla, this is a little trickier. You need to squeeze another, maybe another firehouse back here, engineer's post, because we're using Augustus, so the granary roads underneath, it only counts where they're connected. So this is essentially a straight road, in case you're wondering how that functions. Um, all right, those are all gonna move in. We're gonna drop a market. Uh, I do need two more fountains. I stick a fountain to cover this corner here, which I think to keep it yeah, I stick it there, and then I have two fountains there. This one will be covered by the next reservoir. Okay. And then uh, we put down all the services we require as people move in. Uh, let's just get people moved in first. Okay, come on. All of you go. Yep, get the... I should probably prioritize water services, prefectures, engineers. Okay, just... Just keep that running. Yep. Okay, good. There we go. Uh, that gets things started, but we're still short by 84 people because I put down all these farms. That's fine. Um, I should be able to just pop down Ceres Temple and a forum. And let's put a Doctors. And then we'll need a theater and a library. And I think that's all we require, and then we just fill up the houses like this. Yep. And we garden all these gaps like this. And there'll be a two-gap garden here. And this continues over there. Okay. So this is our first block. This is our first block. And as people move in, which they now have to walk around that way, that's the opening right there. We gotta leave that. I've tested this a little bit. Let's have everyone move in. And also, might as well, this is the proto block. Let's do it fully. Everything's plazaed up to help everything evolve. Oh, I forgot one fountain. There's supposed to be a fountain in the middle, right there. One fountain there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fountains for the block. That one is technically for the next block. Uh, this fountain here is gonna be that fountain there, I think. Okay. Everyone move in, please. We need to get things going. Probably forgot to remove the fishing points. No, I crowded them all at, at the start. <laughs> fishing points. Let's just whole bunch of birds right here. <laughs> I just left that to be access. There we go. Already up to small casas. And everyone's moving in. Look at that. Bam. Great. And now we just have to do this about 50 more times. <laughs> this is going to be a very straightforward approach to maxing population. Right? This is a very straightforward approach. Uh, oh, also I forgot, we don't... We need to reduce housing a little bit because food does struggle, so I'm taking off one... Um, oh, I should actually fix this. Right. This corner here always has problems. I should have that set first. And I'm taking off a house here because if we really push the population, we actually don't have enough farms. So we gotta be careful with how the houses evolve and we make sure we don't get too many. Whether they they're one by ones or two by twos doesn't matter too much, it's just about total population. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that, and there'll be two one by ones there, we just need this to merge first. Okay, um, and that's, yeah, they're going through the first feeding here, we'll let it stabilize. We have some unemployment coming in. Yeah, 500 people, yeah. Is this a reattempt? Yeah, but a much simpler reattempt. Okay. Also, one of the Augustus options I have on is houses always merge. 
so it'll always become two by twos if it is possible to do so. Now I'll block this off. Just need that corner to be particularly merged. Uh, yeah, and the rest should be fine. Oh, we technically need another fountain there because there's a couple houses that didn't evolve. There we go. And I think that's our first block ready. Oh, well, there's this one. Oh, right. We're gonna be having a fountain. Where? This fountain will be replicated here. Right there. Okay. And I'll cover that house and we'll have reservoirs. And there we go. First block done. First block done. It should bring us to about 2,550 population. But we do need to keep it below 2,600. We can push it to 2,600, but there's not enough food to support that quite. I, I tested. We can get to like 2,650 or so, but the food eventually runs out. So it's probably a little bit surplus with the way I've done it here. Okay, and now we just have to do keep this going you have to keep this going so I'm going to set up some roads so we're gonna go this is supposed to be 18 6 and this wraps around again like this uh, does it go to there uh, there's two tiles it should go to there I think yes that's correct we make sure that's open, but not guarded. Very important, this is not guarded. Uh, and then we just have to plan everything. <laughs> let me... It's hard to eyeball everything. So let me do this. This road extends up to there. But not touching that far. Then we have... One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have this prefecture goes there. This engineer's post goes here. And the reservoir will be going here. And, oh, this garden's connected. You see what happens there when that, that messes up? And this reservoir is going here. So we have the reservoir. Oh. Road a bit too long. Reservoir here and reservoir here. Right? And this goes here, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, right there. So that's essentially what we're doing. Road block, one, two, three. Prefecture, engineer's post. You see that fountain now functions from that. Gardens. Temple to series. Forum. <laughs> Plazas. Technically, I can garden up to there and there. And we're going market, theater, library. We make sure that merges. Fill the rest first. second block down and we fill the gaps there because why not uh, we can fill the gaps behind that okay we just have to make sure this is not connected this road then co continues up until there that continues there this continues here oh wait forgot the fountains this is going there. And we have a fountain here, here, here. 
Oh, I forgot the fountains in the middle as well. <laughs> there we go. Kind of crucial, these ones. This goes there. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Cast has the way to go. Yeah. Basically, it just saves space on all that production. Now, I don't know if I need a theater. Uh, uh, a hippodrome, rather. I'm missing a doctor. Oh, yes, so I am. That house doesn't go there. Thank you. Forgot the doctor. Now we can fill up that. Fill up that. And the garden goes there. Two blocks, now done, should be 100% stable. And we've got a map to fill. By the way, this is Augustus, we can zoom out. We've got a map to fill. <laughs> we're, we're busy today. We're busy today. Huh. So like, most of these houses, yeah, they're not moved in yet. We just have to keep going. Um, I think, I think we can fit Either 10, 11, 12, maybe, uh, houses, uh, rows, rather blocks of this. Okay, uh, I think just to make things easier, I'm going to just drag this all the way down. Drag this all the way down. Okay, see the on-screen indicator of the 127 times 1? That's what we want. Same thing here. Okay, good. And how much space is there between these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 18. 18, 6. Oh. All right, and this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is that correct? 7 times 18? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. So we got one, two, three, four, five. That's five blocks. Eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. We've hit two thousand people. Six. That's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, because this is so simple, we should be able to make progress relatively quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got twelve. Ah, twelve. Uh, the glitch you're talking about, entry point isn't where the sign is. Yeah, the entry point is here. The flag, for some reason, sometimes spawns there. I don't know why. Okay, so we're actually doing this. Uh, I should probably... 
am I doing this? It is going up to there. Just can't quite picture how... Actually, how far does it go, this road? It goes until one past. So we're doing up to here. Times eight. And then down there. Okay. Times eight. Down there. Times eight. Down there. The on-screen multiplication there is just so handy. Times eight. Down to there. Times eight. Down to there. So this one, up down to there. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's so much simpler not having to care about warehouses or production of the resources. It's just, we gotta fill a map. We gotta fill a map. Now, we do have to be careful about actually running out of money. I think once we get enough blocks going, the taxes should be able to keep up. Uh, which reminds me, I should probably raise taxes up to 8%. Yeah, it doesn't generate much at this level. Let's get... Yeah, how do we do this? Prefecture. Prefecture. Prefecture, Prefecture. Okay. And by my count, we should be able to have four rows. Oh, we're at 3,000 people. The last two to three blocks are one tile larger. Did I miscount something? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks correct to me. I think it's correct. Well, we'll find out when we get to it. One is longer. <laughs> You're gonna have to be more specific. Longer, not wider. Oh. Oh, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ah, there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. It's this one. Good eye. Good eye. So Blizzo, thank you so much for this stuff. It's hard to see these things. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, these buildings are actually going to collapse. I better hurry. By the way, I've bound the... the scrolling around to wazd so I can do this without the mouse. Okay, so these blocks are now set up. I'm going to pop the granaries down. Okay, granary, granary. So yeah, filling all of this up should be relatively quick and simple. Well, it's simple either way, but it should be relatively quick. It's just how fast I put things down, right? Uh, and then how long is this road coming out? One, two, three, four, five. Right, so it should be times five. Okay. Now we're, we'll explode in population. As I can just pop all the houses down. Okay, uh, let's get... I've got to be careful not to block this. Okay. Okay. 
this is the one that needs to evolve first, so let's just put that down now. Okay, we've got a thousand people unemployed. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, let's pop down all the services. Market, 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 market. Okay, let's get the farms down. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is correct. I think so. Yeah, people are unhappy. They don't have jobs, but it's fine. Okay, this will just get the granaries filled and the market going with the food since we did put down that one house. Did I mess something up here? Oh no, I'm... Ah, oh, this is short one tile. <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, I thought it was correct. That means all of this needs to be shifted. The whole thing. Okay. At least it's not the whole thing that was wrong, right? Gotta be careful about this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That. Okay. Yes. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the problem with batch processing is when you get something wrong, the whole batch is wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Are these guys just unemployment is so high, my wife's even stopped nagging me to get a better job. I hope that's not a problem. I hope that's not a problem. Can I build on top of them? Oh. Oh dear. Oh no, don't tell me. The walkers have glitched out. <laughs> Reloading mic, fix it. Um, do I have autosaves? I wasn't expecting... Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, we're back. I had to redo things just to get rid of the bugged walkers, but I think we're now ready to go. I've got these blocks set up again, as you saw just now. Uh, I just put a doctor and the house down, and we were putting down the granaries and the farm. So let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, we've got a row to flesh out. Got a road to flesh out. Let's do this. I think, hopefully, everything is correct. It should be. It should be. I've measured the gaps between with gardens. You can see that. We had a, this road coming out. Five long. Okay. Now, nothing should go wrong. 
As long as I'm not rebuilding a whole bunch of stuff, it should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, let's start with the farms. Let's start building down this way, rather. Let's do this. Don't, don't. The immigrants. Fine, I'll do this block first. Okay, do that. Okay. I didn't put the road here. Okay. Let's just go down like this. Okay. Let's make sure everything fits. Okay, okay, everything looks good. Okay, spacing is correct. Here we go, here we go. Now, once I finish one full row, I do wonder what our population's gonna be. Because I've got room for four and a bit, I think. We've got, you can see the watermarks here. That's one, two, three, four, and a shorter one. So there's four and a half, maybe, four and a half, if we're being lenient with it. Let's put the markets down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, I should probably just put down the rest as well. The theater can go here. And then the library. All right, I should guarantee that's a proper 2x2, two two, so let's place those down first. Again, using Augustus means it guarantees becomes a 2x2 two two because of an option I turned on. In vanilla, you'd probably just try and do it manually. You know, to force it. Okay. Library's down, okay. And we're doing... Temple to series, next the doctors. This is series' row, and we also gotta make sure we are taxing. Which. Does it go right at the corner there? No, it's one off. Okay. One off like this. One. to place this one first to stop the immigrants from blocking. Okay. All the services are down. We just need to get the water going. So let's get our reservoirs, which goes up against the forums. Yes. So it's there. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> the employment issue. Oh, we're short, are we? It's okay. Lots of people are moving in. Okay. There's one. Needs to go down here. Oh, we need one here as well. Let's not trap those immigrants. I don't want anything bugging out. I just have to skip a house on this last row. Uh, we don't need this aqueduct for starters.
How do I want to do this? I just want to do that, I think. And since we are skipping a house, I can have a house there instead. Okay. Reservoir, 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 reservoir. Aqueduct. Okay. That row's done. I should get this fountain down, so there's a gap of four. Uh, just to cover that, actually. Yep. Let's cover two tiles off the road on the right. Okay. Place gardens to guarantee that stays open. <laughs> oh, that's correct, right? Yeah. We're gardening this whole back area. And behind each of the doctors to make sure a house doesn't go there. Okay. Um, fountains. Oh wait, there's the reservoir issue back here. Guess I should do that. Is this? Yeah, it's all here. Okay. Okay. Very straightforward, very simple. Just make sure every block is exactly the same. I guess we don't need that. All right, fountains. Behind each of these. All right, there's our 5,000 mark again. I think everything's functioning appropriately. Putting a road with roadblocks makes certain the gardens don't evolve by mistake. That's a good point. Then again, at small casas, that doesn't happen, right? I suppose just in case, I should do that. Just roadblock it. Uh, what was I doing? Um, fountains. So there's supposed to be a fountain here. Here. Right? So it's behind these two. And then there. And there. Behind these two. There. And there. Okay. Okay, just trying to make sure no mistakes happen. Okay, there's supposed to be a fountain here, and possibly here, but let's just get this one down first. The center gardens and we can finish that that's correct right yes I suppose this just fills up like that right it's okay this doesn't connect to anything Okay, um, yeah, we can do this. Now it's very easy to get so confused with what you're doing with this. No fountain by the second last prefecture. Oh, good eye, thank you. 
fair by seeing it. Okay, come down. Right? It's so easy to just miss a little detail when you're doing a mega city like this. Just trying to make sure everything is as proper and efficient as possible. I'm supposed to also do that while we're here. Okay. We have unemployment again? Oh yeah, people are just streaming into this city. Everyone wants to live in Max Farmland. The gaps behind here. Okay, good. I want to do these gardens now because if I come back and do them later, easy to make a mistake and connect roads. I can't just like cover the map. Oh, I should also have this guaranteed as a 2x2 two two to make sure there's not any 1x1s one ones which are out of reach. Okay. Do I need a gap here? And no, because this will exit to the outside of the map. Okay. I think... I think that's good to go. Wait, no, we're still missing fountains. Uh, this fountain is supposed to cover up until that forum. Right, so we need to open up that on every row. Okay, good. Yes. That one. Uh-huh. Yes. Fountain. Oh, technically it should be down here as well. Even though that's not covered yet. It's okay. Okay, good. Yes. Wonderful. Perfect. Got it. Yes. Alright. Have those houses moved in? Yes. So now we can just fill up... Oh, I should save here. <laughs> uh, two. Yeah. Filling first row. Okay, we're going for 120,000. I think I can actually hit it with this. Are we going to go into debt for this? <laughs> this is going to cost 13,000 to do. Oh, we missed... Hold on, we missed the bottom row. I'm going to do this all together. 14,000 to do this. Bam. We're down to 5,000. We do have rescue funds. We do have rescue funds. There is a gap on the right side, don't worry. It comes out the farmland here. And now we let people move in and hope taxes cover what we need to do. Right? Uh, taxes are at 8%. The more we do, the more taxes come in. <laughs> the fountain isn't working. Yeah, that last one isn't working. I don't know if we need it, but I can just do that for now. Oh, that's where the right, of course. I don't know, I guess no fountain goes there. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that's the- that's exactly where the exit point is. Will we go into debt and get our massive rescue funds which I set when I made this map? Uh, oh, they're gonna move in, like, they're gonna move in this... How do I... This way. Hope you did the numbers to see if casas are profitable. If they're not, then... I mean, we have massive unemployment, so... People who move in, if they're not working, they still pay taxes. Oh, our city has run out of money. 
It's okay. Absolutely. Look, we got rescue funds. Try to make these new funds last <laughs> we got rescue funds. Small casas pay a lot less. Uh, do we have enough money coming in here? Why is it running low? Uh, enough food, rather. Is this maintaining okay? Or do we have a couple houses too many? I think it's okay. I think it's maintaining. Now I just I just need everyone to move in so we're actually collecting taxes. Because our wages are 8,300. Ten thousand people. Since I have unemployment, you can't tax too much. Yeah, that's why it's it's eight percent. That's the safe zone from our previous experience. But we have massive, massive unemployment. All right, ten thousand, ten thousand. We're a twelfth of the way there. Once this whole first row moves in, we should be collecting enough taxes. I think. Maybe. People love me? Let's try 10% taxes. Oh, these houses aren't fully evolving because we need plazas. It's gonna cost a lot to fully plaza up everything, so let me just plaza... like... this. Okay. Wages 8,300. We're getting close to breaking even. Two thousand six hundred and fifty-two people requires nine farms. Yeah, that's why I'm, I didn't cross two thousand six hundred. Don't worry, Grumpy Snarker. I went down a bit to like two thousand five hundred and fifty by like not having a house here, not having a house behind the doctors. Fifteen thousand people. But I still might have, like, one or two houses too many. Like, I could get rid of a couple of the one-tile houses. Like, if I get rid of one one-tile house... Like, let's say I just get rid of... I suppose it doesn't matter. Why did... It slipped. It lagged. I'll just get rid of that. Maybe if I get rid of... If I get rid of one one-tile house, I might just have one house too many. Like, one tiny house too many. Uh, taxes are now 10,000. Great. We're gonna start making money here. Struggling to just get everyone moved in. Uh, we batch processed, so we, we just went from, like, a few thousand people to up to 20,000 people. Look at this. Okay, by getting rid of one one-tile house, is that enough or do I need to get rid of one more? We've reached 20,000 people. It's like, sometimes we get a tent, we can just get rid of that, right? That counts. I think that might have solved it by getting rid of one one tile house. So I just gotta make sure my eyes don't go crossed here. So I remove the house there. Remove a house on this block. No tent formed here, so remove single tile house there. Tent formed there. Tent formed there. 
tent form there. Uh, no tent formed here, so we get rid of any old one. No tent formed here, get rid of any old one. No tent formed here, get rid of... doesn't matter. Okay. So then if I want to plaza up the whole blocks, how much will this cost me? 8,000? Yeah. Plaza everything. And fill those single tile missing houses with gardens. Oh, I didn't put a house there. But I missed that. Okay, I think that's correct. How's our first block doing in terms of food? The market has is full and the granary starting. Yeah, that was literally one one single tile house too much. We're at 25,000 people. I just need to get a one one tile house. Not quite. Ah no, it seems to be working. I eyeball things. Look. My eyeballs say correct. <laughs> oh, the this one's running out of food. Wait, didn't I get rid of a... I got rid of that house there, right. I mean, I just have to... Check. Do I need to get rid of one more? Do I need to get rid of one more? Like, it's hard to judge when the houses aren't fully moved in. So maybe that's why. Maybe some people just moved in. I suppose if it ever hits zero, I should just get rid of another house. Get rid of one more, right? Get rid of one more. These haven't moved in, so I guess I need to get rid of two one-tile houses on each one. Okay. Fair enough. We can do that. And that should do it. Right, that should do it. Fill in the gaps. Okay. Starting second row. First row is done. Pretty much. All small casas. We're approaching I don't know what population. How did this fill up? Okay, there we go. Didn't miss any gaps, right? There we go. Does it matter if that corner is a... Uh... No, because there's no houses in this corner, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe the first block wasn't entirely filled up yet. So I think getting rid of two might do it. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. I should let this first row run a little bit before I build the second row to make sure it, it is 100% set. Oh, this didn't evolve here. Can I get a fountain down this side? Yeah. That's not clear land. Oh, there we go. Okay, just get that evolved. How many people is this? It should be 30,000? 30, 30 ish? Yeah, each farm is 320 people. We have 8 times 12 farms. I can't do math on air. <laughs> 8 times 12 times 320. 
Do I need to remove one more one tile house? I just need to know how many one tile houses I need to get rid of. Can you please replace the single tile behind the doctor on the bottom right block to match the others? What? What did I do differently? Oh, there's a house there. Oh wait, no. That house is there because... Oh, I suppose since there's no houses here, this can be houses. I don't need to get rid of two houses here. It was like that because we're down two houses because of this opening. That's why. But since we just got rid of two houses from each one, I can just... Like that's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll get the reservoirs in for this next row. Uh, or just draw these aqueducts first to get things started. Okay. Okay. Now we just need to batch process the row for the next four rows. Our money is going back up, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, I might have to get rid of one more house. Now this last row... Actually... Do we need a reservoir here? If I get rid of that, what's the range? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this last area. So I'll just leave that for now. Maybe I turn the block on its side and we just have half the amount? Sure. Yeah, we are still running out of food. So we need to get rid of three one by one houses, maybe. Uh, let's get rid of three. So let's get rid of one there. I guess it doesn't matter which one. Just find a one by one and get rid of it. Are there no one by ones? How did this block become so clean? There's no one by ones here, wow. That's... Kind of amazing. Yeah, I'll just have to do that. This one is... no, no, there we go. One by one. Get rid of one more there, get rid of one more there. One there. Why didn't that merge? Oh, there's a desirability issue? It's strange, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, getting rid of one house on each. Another one that formed almost perfectly. Okay. Yep, okay. So just replace it with three houses. Okay, we gotta make sure the gardens don't connect these blocks either. Okay, so we got rid of one more house. So th total three houses from each one. If it goes to four, then we just get rid of a two by two. Let's have that run and see if that keeps up. We are at 30,000 people. Eight, twelve. Yeah, we got a clear four rows of this. We've got a clear four rows, so we we hit hundred twenty thousand easy. So what number are we going for today? What number are we going for? We've got four rows of this. See, one, two, three, four, and then some. I just need to know how many. I guess I let this run while I draw the roads for the next blocks, right? 
Um, wait, we're getting the reservoirs in first, which is yeah, like that. It's aligned with the road. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Is there a world record for Caesar 3 population? Is there a world record? I actually don't know. Hundred and fifty K? Is that the world record? Hundred and fifty K? That. We can just clear that. That's how far it's going. Technically, up to there. That's how far that's going. Right. Yeah. So I guess I can just do this as an indicator. Is food restoring? I don't know. Is it just breaking even? I don't know. It's a little unstable. Do I just need to get rid of one 2x2? Two two? But I guess getting rid of four 1x1s one ones makes more sense. Because 2x2s two are easier to maintain. You generate positive income from taxes alone? Yep. I mean, at this population, taxes are just like 18,000. The bill is 8,000. People are pleased with me. I can drop taxes again to the safe levels of 8%. Like there's 800 in the granary, 800 in the market. Maybe this is fine. I j it looks like I'm running out of food, but I don't know. It's so hard to tell. As long as the houses aren't devolving, I guess it's fine. Like if a block collapses, I'll come back and fix it. But so far, it seems like removing three one by ones allows it to relatively exist. Maybe it's not 100% stable, but that should be fine. Let's get the long road set up. Let's just do that. And then it goes up to 18. 18. Right, yeah, and then this goes down to here. I need this as a guide actually so I can see what I'm doing okay just have to batch process everything now um, so this is all that big right one two three four five yes so we're doing gonna try eyeball this rather than count so if we make a mistake it's just one spot that's what we learned from last time okay it's good that extends out. This looks good. Would it be efficient to... You know, I think this is fine. If I draw roads through the aqueducts, clearing it off will be harder. OK. 
Okay. Good. Correct. Wrong. Okay. Yes. Okay. Extends. Shorter. Longer. Shorter. Longer. Shorter. Longer. Shorter. Long. Okay. These are our blocks. Not do that. Okay. To clear the connectors. I mean, it looks like we're low on food, but as long as they're small casas, we have the population. Like. Even if it's not stable, the fluctuation means we technically have a higher population than we can support. Even if it's just temporary. Even if it's just temporary. So I think I'll go with this. Because if it just evolves the houses, and they all evolve technically together at the same time... The house will devolve into a tent once in a while. And then they'll re-evolve. And then as people slowly starve, we technically have more people than we can support. That's how we max population. Borderline starvation. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, how far are we going with this? Up to that, right? Eight, yeah. And then two down. Eight, 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 two down. That's how we're doing it. They're not dying of starvation. They just devolve their house once in a while, and then some people move out because they don't have food. Okay. Uh, let's get the roadblocks. This block has... No, this block has something wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is... One, two, three, four... Ah, this is short by one. Let's see, I wasn't counting the whole thing. So, the mistake is only there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's correct. Roadblock. We learn things every day. See, what I learned in Caesar 3 in my special slash silly challenges playthrough is that when you set weird restrictions, you learn about the game a lot more. You learn a lot more about the game. Okay, so we're doing prefecture, prefecture. You learn a lot of secrets when you set weird restrictions. Yeah, something's wrong here. That's correct. This is wrong. So it should be there. This road should be doing that. Yeah, it's much easier once. Let's slow the game down so these don't collapse. Yeah, once the first row is down, instead of counting the tiles, we can eyeball it. And then if there's a mistake, it's just there. Not the whole thing, like what happened to us the first time. Engineer's posts. This allows the blocks to exist without falling apart. 
We have 9,500 unemployment at 79% right now. But you know, the people still like me, because for those who do have jobs, we pay them a lot. So I guess they support their unemployed families. <laughs> is, that a, is that a viable economic model? Okay, let's get the granaries down first. Okay, then these roads coming out the granary extend by five tiles. Okay. Technically, we have a little extra space, like three tiles of extra space around the back here. Which I guess we could kind of squeeze in some houses if we put like farm, farm, granary, couple services, and then a few houses. Right, we can squeeze houses along this edge. That could work. Then maybe I could replace some of these gardens with tents? If I replace the gardens with tents? Hmm. Just to maximize. So, we get over 30,000 people per row. So we will have 120,000 by the end of the... the first row, right? Okay. Fountain, 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 fountain. Let's get these fountains down first. Just doing a whole row. So we're going from 30 to 60,000. Okay. Through the line of gardens. Good. Okay, and then we go... Uh, just pop the market down. Well, we put a dent in our unemployment. We're down to 77% unemployed. Um, what else? <clears throat> Uh, we should squeeze in the houses that we want to be 2x2s two first. Which is that, right? Yeah, against that. At that corner and at this corner. So these three corners are 2x2s. Two Before anything else. Okay. So we deleted three one by one houses, right? I think it might stabilize if I actually skip the two by two, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. I, th I like my borderline starvation plan. Okay. <sighs> be interesting to see me do this for Pharaoh and Emperor. It'd be a whole different ball game, wouldn't it? I'm just not as familiar with with how everything's set up. Okay. Now we gotta do farms. So we're doing one, two. All right. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five. Is this just one shot here? I think so. It should just be like that. Yeah, I didn't mess up the next row. Good. Okay. Just gonna blast up to 60,000. I don't think I've done something quite that big in a single swoop before because in the my first attempt the last two videos each row was like 25,000 and it took a long time to move in because evolving to large insula took a little while longer. Okay um, let's get the reservoirs in, I guess. They're going here. Reservoir, reservoir, reservoir. Bam. Evolves those houses. Great. They should all start evolving now. Uh, what do we need to do next? Services. So we get another 12 theaters. It seems like the theaters that are part of the block provide enough entertainment to keep the houses evolved at Small Casa. This libraries. I missed a theater. I missed two theaters. Okay. Um, this is gonna be after series. Venus is actually the most important one. I don't know if it's possible to have this city and have happy gods. <laughs> okay, then we have the doctor next to the temple. There. Okay, then we need the forum which eventually we don't technically need, but we might as well, because we're actually deleting houses. Okay, that's all the services they need, right? Then let's plaza up the whole thing costing us 12,000. Uh, then we need to squeeze in the extra fountains, which is like that. Oh, I never put the fountain in the middle. I keep forgetting that. It's there, right? So it is there. Fountain. Yep, correct. Oof. 
You know, no matter how simple the challenge is, it's always what <laughs> happened to that forum. It's it's always difficult. It's always difficult. No, what's wrong with this forum? Hmm. Think your block could easily support one extra farm if you move the prefecture and engineers po post for the farming areas to different parts of the road. You should be able to get one more farm. Um, it would block the road that can, that allows access to the block. put a road in the aqueduct, but then that's blocked off by houses, which I would need to... Like, the whole point of a farm is so we don't have to delete any houses. So I'd need to have an opening of two anyway. Because these houses will just block it off anyway, right? So, to put one more farm, I'd have to delete two houses. And I'm only deleting three houses right now. Relocate the reservoir. I mean... It's already kind of cramped. I think I'm going to stick with this. Because one more farm... We can barely fit any more houses anyway. You know what, what I might do? The houses that I deleted, I'm gonna leave them as gaps. At the end, I will fill them back up with houses. Just to push it up to the absolute maximum, even if it's just temporary. the other uh, there. I'll leave it as gaps. Yeah. That one's already missing two. Okay. <laughs> it's just about max population, nothing else, nothing else. Um, fountains. There's a bunch of fountains I needed to do. So we're doing those two. So we're doing these two. Let's just get those down first. Okay, good. Okay. Um, what are we doing for the fountains after this? We have sort of one down this way, which is to cover up to there, right? So we're doing this. Technically, there's supposed to be a fountain here, up to there, right? It's for the fifth one. So technically, this... is supposed to be a fountain. Okay. Three, 
for them. Okay. there. Okay. Just to cover anything on that side. And then after the gardens between the blocks, I think we're done. And then we can bust up to 60,000. Oh, I'm supposed to have this garden behind the doctors as well. Just do that before I forget. It's nice knowing that the food levels are teetering. It means I don't have to worry about trying to squeeze in more houses. Because it's not about that. Because we wouldn't be able to support it anyway. Okay. I think we're prepped. Should also do that. Cover it up to there. Supposed to be gardens. Just. <coughs> Actually, I shouldn't be putting gardens here. Those should be tents. Right? These should be tents. We're maxing population, not beauty. They should all be tents. Consider making a central block for elites just for style's sake. No. <laughs> We're not doing style here. We are doing population and nothing else. You need a home, Grumpy Snacker? Too bad. You'll live in one of the small casas. that house oh it's not combining because they didn't move in together right okay I think we're ready to go row two all set up Yes, I think it's all there. Okay. Save. Filling row two. Here we go. So we're just doing this up to there. Right. That corner there might be a bit of a problem, but it's okay. We need to get rid of three one-by-one one houses from each one anyway. Remove the gardens and the farm areas for tents. Yeah, I'm not sure if these houses, these castles on this side need tents, but... Or here. But I'll come back for that. Uh, for now, I guess I'll just put down tents behind these. Since I know... This just this is easy. This doesn't matter. Okay, here comes the deluge of new citizens. There they are, streaming in. 
Like, I suppose I could try and figure out what to do here. Um, if we were to, for example, just build a road along here, right? How could we turn this into something that actually functions as a block? Perhaps the road doesn't go there. The road actually needs to go on the outside to make sure we don't block the in point. One farm supports 320 people, which means 6, 12, 18, 24... How do, we, how do we make this work? If I, for example, match the farms here, I go wheat, farm, farm, farm. I could then have a granary here. Needs a bit of room to twist into it. Right, and then we have prefecture, engineer's post at the end. And we... Roadblock that, so the granary is still covered by the prefecture and engineer's post, but it's blocked there. Then we just need a market. A library. A theater. We don't need a forum out here, but we do need... I guess out here we put... Neptune. Then we can support one, two, three, four, five. Five houses. would need fountain here and that just boosts up a little bit more right row three four five check gardens between Granary has no road access. Oh, right. I guess it should be stable enough. I mean, we just need these guys to walk down there sometimes. Wait, I can just roadblock here, right? That still should be protected by the... Prefecture? Yeah, that should still work. Okay, one of the row, three, four, five, check gardens between. Um, one of row three, four, five. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Check the far right housing block on the second row. You have gardens touching... Oh, this touches that. I see. This garden goes round. So you gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Right, and technically this becomes a road, so they start walking around like that. Correct? B 
between third and fourth blocks. You have many guards. Third and fourth. See, I'm not sure what you mean by third and fourth. We have two rows. The third block is this one. This is the fourth one. This is the third and fourth block. I go to row two, third and fourth from the left. Oh, this one. There we go. Row two, block three and four. Okay. There we go. Garden bottom right by the Venus Temple might cause problems. No, I think this is okay. Uh, we did clear this, so this is no longer connected to that. Okay. So we've got this set up. That's just some extra housing. Seems like we can support more. So let's go ahead and do... Market. Uh, we did... Library. Theater. Yeah, that's, that works. Library, theater. Neptune Temple. Five houses. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, wait. How many houses can I support on these three farms? But then if I'm continuing this, am I putting more farms here? Let's just put this for now. Huh. 15? Two, three, four, five. So I can do that. Break that. Plaza that. So that's maxing out housing right to the edge. And that's 15 houses. Or 14. All right, fountain. Uh, the fountain was supposed to go... There. That's a two by two, so it should be fine. I can have a fountain here because they can walk around the back anyway. Okay. We have houses from edge to edge of the map. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna take a while for this to move in. I guess we just keep going, right? Yeah, we, we just have to draw the next two and then figure out what we're doing for the final row. Let's save here. Starting row three. <sighs> Temporary academy spam. No, it should be fine. Taxes are bringing in 16,000. Wages are 17,000. So we've been losing money. But as these people move in, we'll make the money back. It's just a matter of time. So let us... Get this going. 18. 618. 8. Down 2. Doing this. Draw the guide. Six eighteen. One, two, three, four. That's wrong. There. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, we're 
drawing this guide, like that, good, and we just do an eight, one, two. I can do that in one shot, right? Yeah. Okay. Eight, one, two. One shorter, okay, good. Should I just lay out the whole fourth row as well? We just blast straight up into it? Guess there's no reason not to. It's just a lot of road drawing. Okay. I'm excited to hit 120,000. Subscribers as well on YouTube. If you're watching this in the future, we're about to hit 120,000 subscribers. <laughs> so, it's just a coincidence. I wasn't like, oh, we're about to hit 120,000. Let's get that many people in Caesar 3. So all the Zachalites have some place to live. It was actually a coincidence. But I guess you could all live in my city if you so desire. It's not so bad. Small Casa is not not a bad place to live. <laughs> I mean, you have all the bread you can eat, right? We only grow wheat, but bread's bread's okay. Lots of bread. Okay, that's that. Uh, people are moving in relatively slowly. Let's up taxes just to cover our bills, yeah? Seems like we might be able to support 10% taxes. And yeah, these, these blocks, if they're starving, you can't tell. You can't tell. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna take forever for everyone to move in. It takes so long. I guess I should just go ahead and plan the next row as well. And then maybe figure out what we're doing on the final row. Okay, let's do the same thing. Plan the roads all the way down. Okay. You know, you'd think this was tedious, and I'm not sure if, uh, if it is for you watching, but the excitement of just hitting these giant population milestones now we're about to hit 40,000. Yeah, it keeps me going. <laughs> it's just these crazy goals. It's like me trying to balance the Frostmourne block. It just... It's such a silly idea. But when you pull it off, it's like, yeah, I built a Frostmourne block. <laughs> oh. You know, all this farmland, what it looks like to me is Sim Safari. Have you guys played Sim Safari? It's a good game. It just looks like when you just plant grass everywhere in Sim Safari. It's the same kind of yellow. Okay. 
Let's break these guides. Okay, good. I have an army come to wipe you out. <laughs> thing is, you can't lose favor on this map, right? Favor's just 50 and there's just... As long as you're not in debt, nothing happens. Okay. The next two rows... Oh, I just realized the map just says, Ah! <laughs> the map's just screaming at us. Get all the roadblocks down. It's the noise this city makes constantly. It's just, ah! <laughs> it's hidden in the... the layout of the city. Keep the game running. We need people to move in so that we start making money again. Large insula pays a lot more taxes than this. But we do profit. It just takes forever for people to move in. I missed the block. Oh, thank you. Everything starts to look the same after all. <laughs> Okay, um... I should actually slow this down so I can... get all this going. Right? Let's... enable all the blocks. Just another casual 24 blocks. I like going top to bottom. It just keeps my mind a bit more organized than alternating. Right, that's something that's very efficiency versus ease. Right, it'd be more efficient to zigzag my batch processing through everything. Um, but that's not easier. And when things are harder, is it more efficient? Engineers was like, for example, efficiency means I should start right there, but I'm gonna go back here. Isn't it quicker to place all the prefectures at the bottom first instead of going zigzag? I don't know. What's quicker is what's easiest in my mind, so... This is the quickest. You know, not having to worry about manufacturing resources makes this process so much more straightforward. Not only is going for large insula not as good in terms of our total population, it's harder. So it's less efficient and harder. Okay. 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 And now we can speed the game back up. To keep people moving in. There we go. We're hitting 40,000 people. 
<sighs> Over here, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Is this outside thing holding up? Yeah, three farms to feed 15 houses. Seems like it's working okay. Might actually be able to support two extra houses there. Let's do that. Or maybe we can't. I know, it's cutting it. Yeah, maybe we can. Just two extra houses. So I'll replicate this going along this way. Save here. Just the six. We've crossed 40,000 people. Granaries. Let's get those down first. Because it's the easiest to. Just have everything measured out. Sometimes the game lags a little bit on those high speeds, so the click doesn't register. Okay. Uh, we should get the corner houses in. Have them all move in now, before anything can evolve. That way they guarantee, even without water, they should evolve, okay. Right, I have to go back and delete three one-tile houses from each of these previous blocks. So many blocks. I thought in our first attempts the number of blocks was crazy with 40. So I should get rid of three one tile houses from each row. One, two, three. Oh, if there's right, I should wait for. to see if there's tents. Right, I'll come back and do that. Come back and do that. Watch for tents. Get rid of the tents first, that's just better. It's not lag, it's autosave. Oh, it's the autosave. Well, technically it is still lag. <laughs> the autosave is causing the lag. <laughs> um, we're doing this. Uh, right? See, my mind, I just gotta go top to bottom. I'm too tense. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep everything in my mind. Like when when I play city building games, right? It's it's all keeping the system in your head. Making sure everything is flowing together. And also, I'm talking to like 200 people in chat live right now. So it's just... Is the city running fine? Is the stream running fine? Is the recording going okay? Yeah, we're approaching two hours now. Uh, but with each block we go, the faster we can go. Okay, so there's that. What should I do next?
Oh my go. What's our... Do people still like me? Extremely pleased with me at 10% taxes. Okay. Yielding 27,000. Bill is currently 19,000. Okay, we've got some leeway. Um, oh, I haven't built the five-tile road coming out the back of the granaries yet. I've got to do that. go we're populating the vast farmland with some tents okay we're approaching 50,000 population Okay. Also, this road just continues on the outside, like that. Just roadblock here. Okay. Um, seems like we can't support those two tanks. Some of these are devolving. I might have to get rid of those two tents. I'll just keep an eye on it. Okay. <clears throat> what am I doing next? I should get the reservoirs set up. Um, to measure the reservoirs, I should get the temples down. So we've done Ceres, Venus. This is going to be Mercury. Let's go Mercury, because this positions where the reservoir is going to go. Okay. I don't want people working too much because that starts to cost me in wages. And then I should do uh, Mars. Yeah. Okay. Money's going back up. We've crossed 50,000. Okay. That allows me to put the reservoirs down because they're going basically here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. 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 All right. Now, until we hit 60,000 population. That second row hasn't actually fully moved in yet, so I'll look at it when we hit about 60,000. And then we have to go through, delete three single tile houses. Aqueduct, place that. Okay, we can clear that. We can clear this. Then we're going reservoir. Okay, that's that. Then here. We're at 53,000 population. Did I miss one? I always miss one. Where is it? What did I miss? 
that. Okay, it's so easy to miss one. <laughs> um, right, then we've got these reservoirs, which go like this. Careful. That's wrong. Okay. And the same thing over here. Right. Okay. 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 And that should be correct. We're at fifty five thousand population. Okay, and I might as well squeeze in the two tents behind all of these now, because I'll forget. You know, if we didn't have global employment, this would be the feeder houses. Right, it just... You can see the road back here, technically technically in range of that house as well. So this, this will work in vanilla as well. I'm just using uh, Augustus, because it's a nicer experience. And I like the convenience options, but essentially this works in vanilla as well. It will just take longer to do the same thing. Also, this would need to be a gatehouse of some sort. That That's the only thing that would need to change if you don't have things. One reservoir is off one tile? Oh no, which one? Back here? This one. Is it this one? Okay. Uh, oh, right. Then put the reservoirs here. Uh, I didn't open this up. Okay. Can open here. Okay. Money is going back up. Yes, population is approaching 60,000. Wages are 20,000. Taxes are 33,000. Uh, oh, looks like it's mostly filled up. Let's look for tents and remove single tile houses. There's one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. 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 Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. But leaving them open so I can squeeze in people later, right? Looking at this first block, it seems like food's fine if I remove three one-tile houses. Okay. Uh, what do we need to get things just running for a start? If I just get some farms going. But not all of them. 
because it's going to take him a long time to move in anyway. So we just get the basics going. And then we fill in... the farms later because... Boosting food production should be the last thing we need to do. Okay, this also keeps our wages down, so we can keep stockpiling money for now. Which we need to plaza everything up. Which I think should cost about 10,000 per row, so it sh should cost about 20,000 to plaza all this. Let's find out. Plaza. Plaza it up. 24,795. Pretty close estimate. Bam. Plaza. Markets. Oh wait, I should put doctors first before these houses burn down. Right, because if I look at health, no, risks. Do we not have, oh well. I don't have a risk graph for disease. Okay, okay, doctor, doctor, before anything burns down. From plague, I mean. Okay. okay, then markets. Oh, we've got a nice 200 viewers in chat. Now, everyone say hi. Everyone say hi. If you're watching on YouTube after the fact, say hi down below. And if you've made it two hours plus into the video, say hi. I'll see it. I see all comments. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this meticulously, slowly progressed to massive mega city populations. Oh. Oh. Thank you all so much. I see all the highs in chat. It is very encouraging to see. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining. We're doing some crazy stuff. Um, let me get the fountains down. So we're doing these three fountains first. If I do too many fountains in one go, I get confused as to what I've put down or not. So let's just get the three main center ones in. Okay. Then I'll get those uh, the three houses starting to evolve. Okay. okay. It's gonna take so long for all of these to move in. We're at 64,000 population though. We've already hit the population of our first part in our first attempt. Wacker, where's your house? Among this. Hey, everyone in chat right now and everyone listening right now on YouTube, you live somewhere here. Pick a house. It's yours. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same. <laughs> I miss the doctor. Should be able to catch it when I'm putting the fountains. Where's the missing doctor? And a road to the granary? Did I... I missed a doctor and a road to granary. Okay. Keeping an eye out for that. Doctor, road to granary. 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 Is it in the last row? Doctor Road, 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 Doctor No Road. Doctor Road, 
doctor, doctor, doctor. Did I miss a doctor? Looks like I got all the doctors. Huh. That was revenge for not giving you the know. <laughs> no missing doctor. It was just grumpy snarker. Uh, okay. Um, theaters. Let's get 24 theaters. Let's get the forums down, so we tax who's already moved in. I should do this from this way, because the immigrants always run across the forum. Okay. Library. <coughs> I think everything is spaced correctly. I'm pretty sure after this many passes I should have missed, like I should have spotted if something was a miss. Library, 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 library. Okay. Oh, I didn't put a farm here yet. Okay, we're up to small casas here. So I should actually not have a garden behind the doctors because I might actually want to just squeeze in a house there, right? It's like the garden behind the doctors should be left clear to squeeze in a temporary house to maximize population right at the end when we just do a final burst even though the food can't support it Those will be houses. It seems like this granary can't support this many houses, so I'll get rid of those two as well. See if we can support that. Okay. Um, why aren't these evolving? Oh, right, no gardens. Let's fill the center to start. We have 12,000 unemployment. Okay. Um, we do have this. Is that how I do it? No, no, I'll put these gardens later. Um, I need this farm down for measurements. So let's put this farm down. Because fountains go around this one. Missing library? Not just from Grumpy Snarkers. I probably missed... Oh, there it is. Missing library. It's crazy easy to miss this. Good thing I have like 200 eyes watching. So, you know, say good thing I have 200 eyes watching me make any mistake. <laughs> it sounds very discouraging, but it's actually very helpful. Because if I was doing this by myself, there wouldn't be like 10 people in chat saying, You missed the library! <laughs> oh, technically 400 eyes. <laughs> 200 eyes. Everyone has one eye. Look, in this city, we share resources. Everyone gets an eye, okay? We 
can't afford to have two eyes for everyone. Why is there no house? What even happened here? Why, why are there missing houses here? Did that happen anywhere else? Oh, I just missed that block. Okay. Um, for fountains, we are doing now at the corner of the farm there. And then we are putting a fountain that covers up to there and down to there. Okay, so that's what we're doing everywhere. Corner, corner, up to there, down to there. Corner, corner, up to there, down to there. I'm supposed to have one over here as well. Oh no, that's from that, right, okay. Corner, corner, up to there, down to there. Corner, corner, up to there, down to there. Corner, corner, up to there, down to there. See, one reason why I use Augustus, just showing the range of this allows it easy measuring. Corner, there, there. Corner, corner, there, there. Corner, corner, there, there. Wait, missed the farm. Ten. Corner, corner. We're actually almost hitting 70,000 people, and I have not moved in this the last two rows. So that's going there. And then this and that. Okay. I think those are all the fountains that we'll be using. So we do the same on this. Corner, corner. Up to there. What is that forum? <laughs> Okay, I was worried it was a glitch. It's just a misplace. Corner, corner. Copernicus, thank you so much for the resub. We are placing fountains. We're batch processing this entire last two rows. It's a massive undertaking. It's to double our population from 60,000 to 120,000 to hit a new personal record and to match the number of subscribers we have on YouTube. <laughs> By coincidence. It wasn't part of the original plan, but it just happened to line up. Okay. Okay, corner, corner. Up to there. Down to there. Corner, corner. Up to there, down to there. Corner, corner, up to here, down to there. Corner, corner, up to here, down to here. Corner, up to here, down to there. Okay. Then we're doing the gardens between the blocks. We have that. We have this. Let's just do the edges first. Okay. And then we are doing this. Yeah. We're doing this. Make sure you get it right once, then you batch process. Batch processing. Something I learned from. Photoshop projects, and also programming. You know, I was just sort of quote-unquote naturally kind of good at programming because... Probably because of all these games, right? Uh, yeah, I'm doing this now. That, this actually goes up to there, yep. Okay. This guarantees evolution to small casa. They don't need much. Don't need oracles or large statues. Nope. 
Even small statues, I don't think, would change anything. So gardens are just easier. Okay. Um... Is it just farms, then place the houses? Oh. Right, there'll be... F I suppose I just build a house behind the doctors and then I'll delete... Yeah, I'll be doing that eventually anyway. Oh, but I'd need to delete four one-tile houses to stabilize these blocks. Right? So I place the houses down. Uh, I suppose to be safe, I will fill this back row. Actually, I shouldn't. Those should just be tents. Right? These should just be tents. It's fine. I want to fill those up. They just won't evolve. It's fine. Right? Okay. File. Save. Filling row three and four. I missed the spot, did I? No, it's Grumpy Snarkler. I didn't miss a spot. I think it's fine. <laughs> uh, missing Central Gardens in top row. Did I? Oh, right. So I did. Central Gardens. These. I only did one row of them. <laughs> Grumpy Snarkler lied, but was actually telling the truth by accident. I suppose the houses would have devolved by uh, despawned by themselves anyway. Okay. Now. So we're saving that. Filling row three and four. Unemployment at an all-time low of 56%. 10,000 people are unemployed. Uh, it's time to place houses. And I want the tents back there. So I'm going from here to cover the tents, and then I want to destroy four, four one-tile houses. This cost 18,000 to place down. There we go. That's one row down. Let's do the next row. That's gonna take a long time for them to move in, so I don't have to rush, but I'm gonna go ahead and put down all the wheat farms now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's... I guess it's fine, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Did I miss? Oh, I missed gardens here. How does that house exist? See, the the houses despawned by themselves anyway. <laughs> it's fine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just trying not to miss a farm, misplace the farm, or make a mistake, or anything like that.
Today's episode is brought to you by the number five. Also, it's brought to you by the word Prefecture, Engineer's Post. Prefecture, Engineer's Post. Prefecture, Engineer's Post. Reservoir, 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 <laughs> Reservoir, Reservoir, Aqueduct. Not like that. Reservoir, Reservoir, Reservoir. <laughs> Last one for the traditional blocks done. Huh. Now I suppose we can be maxing things out a little bit, like I probably should keep these as gardens. Right. Oh. Those tents, are they worth it? They hold seven each, but it causes this house to devolve, which would be short by... 68. It causes this one to devolve to 60. Yeah, it's still worth it. The tents hold more people. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Can fill the middle of the farms with gardens for decorations. That can be two houses. I missed farms here. Okay. Gardens. Garden up there. Okay. The printing slowly coming in. Fairby dropped 70 bits. Thank you so much. We reached 70,000 population. Ah, this should just send us straight to 120k. Right? Like, we, we actually just don't need to do anything. Uh, we just need to remove four one tile houses. I'll watch for tents. I didn't put gardens back here because, yeah, we do need the gardens to have these evolve. So let me go ahead and garden up back here. That just makes that evolve, yeah. Okay. Oh. Nightshade subbed? Thank you. Now, has this stabilized? This has, this has, yes. So these three farms support one, two, three, four, plus half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It supports 14 and a half houses, which sometimes has a devolution. Okay, I guess it supports 14 houses. Get rid of those two. Three farms supports 14 houses, okay. That's the plan for here. Which I will get to in a little bit, I guess. Okay, so that's just gonna come in. Are we still... Yeah, the gods are not happy. Uh, 42,000 in taxes, 33,000 in wages. People are pleased, okay, so I don't have to low, uh, lower taxes. We just need everyone to move in. Looks like food supplies generally, yeah, holding up. So when I put in all of those final houses, it should just sort of boost up a little. Okay, population hitting 75,000 any second now. I guess we figure out what to do in this final area. Do I just do this block sideways? 
How does that work? Can it fit? How wide is this block? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? It's like 13-ish. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. With a little extra like round here. Yeah, so we do get blocks on the side. 75,000. We're there. Okay, now let's figure this out. Um, if we have this reservoir here. I have a road like this. Let's say I... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is this how we would want to do it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. If it was to be like this, and the road extends out like that, we have the prefecture and the engineer's post and the roadblock. the granary and if it's like this perhaps we I'm doing something like that just for now I'm gonna do this and nothing collapses just trying to figure out this block so if we're doing something like this something like this can have fountain, 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 because the reservoir is there. Now we would want to have all the usual stuff. So we have the library, we have the theater. We put the, I guess it'll be Neptune, right here. We'd have the Forum right here. It will be Plaza. It will be Garden. Now, as long as it's two by twos, it does water the outside. a market. We need a doctor's. Two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. Right there. One, two, two, one, two. Okay. One, two, one, two. There needs to be a way in, right? I guess the back will be fine, right? Yeah. Then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And we're filling the back with this. And this road would be coming around here. And there will be at least one row of gardens. And then one, two, three, four. Four tiles around the back, which is... One, two, three, four. Exactly the same as this. So, okay, we can continue this side pattern round up to this side. Okay, that actually works out perfectly. And here we go, 80,000 population. 
80,000 population. So if I do this, I should be able to fit, what, another one, two, three, four, four to five of these. So it's like, yeah, it's about half a row. Well, it's 12 on one row, so it's a little less than half. But... Okay. So if we're doing that, then it's got everything it needs. We just fill this up. They can enter around the back. And then for here. We probably just need one row of gardens. Actually, we can make it a little more cramped. It'll be like that. We can have tents like this. This will be plaza. This will be gardened. We don't need that. That house doesn't evolve, but it's because we've got tents back there. Okay, people are unhappy. People are indifferent to you. Let's drop taxes 2%. And then we can just have the block right up against here. Right? Right, the house is right there. That actually works fine, and it maximizes space. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. This is how we're filling final one, and then this is one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're going twelve and down to where? right like that. I think that's correct. This does the same thing. 18. This should be 13, if I'm counting that. I think that's correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, oh, that's not right. Alright, plus 2, yeah. 1, 2, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus two. Yeah. Eighteen, down to here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, so this hook is thirteen. One, two, three, to there. This end bit doesn't quite fit. I'll figure out what to do there. Maybe just a shorter block. Huh. <laughs> oh, make it a little bit more cramped. It needs to work on my messaging. More efficient. It needs to make it more efficient. Prefecture. Goes at the end there. End there. Okay. okay, that one I don't know how to fix yet. We'll come back to it. Just for now, do this. Okay, road blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, granaries. Oh, 
Okay. Market. We're at 85,000 now. Theater. Library. Okay. Then we're supposed to be getting... I gotta pause for this because I've actually started using this reservoir. I gotta bust that open. There, right? I guess it's on every one. Just for stabilities. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I'll just... Keep it uniform. Okay. 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 Alright. Reservoir. 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 I don't need that many, but I'm just doing it just in case. Okay, so the fountains just go three in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a shorter block, so we can have fewer farms. Uh, and farms, wheat, we're going... Actually, I should put the houses down first in the three corners before we provide food. Oh, in the four, all four corners, actually. Here as well. Make sure they merge. a fountain there to evolve those tents. Oh, they won't merge if there's a fountain. There we go. I should actually get rid of the fountains first. Okay, that forces the merge. Then evolve them. Okay. Won't the end houses attached to the wrong road? Houses don't attach to anything. So it's fine. There we go. Now we get the farms down. It's taking so long to move in. Is the third row moved in? No, the third row is still not fully moved in. We're gonna figure out this end block. in time, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So over here, we don't have enough space for farms. So we should probably just cut back on how many houses. Like if I shorten this by like two rows like that. We could have the engineer's post there. Fountain there. Just clear this. Roadblock here instead. Go granary. We can only fit five farms. Okay, 
should let this clear first. Don't have the fountains. Get the two by two houses moved in. Okay. So we have theater, library. doing this. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Forum. 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 Temple to Neptune. 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 Okay. Plazas. We plaza up everything. Including this road. We want to service fountains back here. to accommodate those tents. Okay. Center gardens. We're at 95,000 population, so we're already gonna cross 100,000. Okay. Doctors, right? Let's not forget those. So there's a doctor here next to this. Okay. And is that everything? I think that's everything. So we squeeze in the houses. Back here as well. in the houses, including back here. And we have this row of gardens from house to farm. Five. Well, can I actually fit six, seven? I can fit eight farms like this. Oh well, it's just fewer houses here. I should just fill any gaps in this outside road. Can that support a tent? Yeah. don't need gardens there we just need houses okay <clears throat> that's gonna start moving in the final bonus row but we still have the outskirts to do the outskirts um, now the problem with this is we can't get water here I mean I can have a reservoir right at the end here I did set a pool of water there but providing water access to all of this is, I suppose, a little tricky. Not impossible. It's like that covers to there. Basically need one of these at every corner like that. Something like this. And then I pull it back like that. A 
I don't want to block off this this area. Because if I do that, it does block off, right? So I want to make sure there's a road in front of each of these reservoirs. So now the aqueduct can do that. Bring it down. Bring it... No. Bring it along. Bring it up. Bring it down. Bring it along. We've crossed 100,000 people. There we go. This is now officially a city of 100,000. Bring it down. Bring it along. Right, you can't do that. This one needs the road like that. How do I do this? I can't do that. Like that. Okay. <sighs> The fourth row is barely filled in. The third row is kind of filled in. Do I need to go through and delete those four houses? By the time we get to that, we probably want to be filling them back in anyway. So I guess I'll just leave it for now. I think there are too many houses. Yeah, I definitely need to delete something. Or do I just leave it? I don't know. I mean, we have tents anyway. I'll just leave it for now. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. So, if each of these gives another couple thousand, we are going for 120. This should be bringing us close to 130,000, what we have put in right now. Right? We should be about 130,000. What was the record on my previous map? 106,000. So, now I can continue going around the outskirts. We need 14 houses for every three farms. So I'm doing the tricky task of placing a farm. One, two, three. Let's slow down so nothing burns. Um, we have the granary set up here. One away. It is connected on both sides, but road blocked here. And we basically do the same thing as before. So we do, yeah, market, market, and the three services. Market, market, theater. This is gonna be tricky. Library, library, temple to Neptune, uh, then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we want seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we go prefecture, engineer's post, sever the road connection. We actually don't want this stuff connected. We do need two here. Prefecture, engineer's post, plaza. And 
we just need a theater here. Come on, gap, there we go. Okay. We're at 105,000, we're about to break our previous record. Now having more stuff along here, a little trickier. Do I wanna do this? Can fit farms here. One, two, we could do maybe three more of these. If I go one, so this is to feed the corner. One, two, three. And it'll be there to there. And then they'll be there. And then we can do one, two, three here. Great. Three, that feeds here. And then we want here to here. And then three farms here. Okay, so we'll have Prefecture. So now I'm just gonna do this so nothing burns. will require a little bit of reorganization <clears throat> okay uh, actually I should just I can fix that now uh, that should go there make sure there is still a gap there yeah okay get rid of the middle one that's where the roadblock goes Actually, no, that's where the road sever goes. Not a roadblock. We don't want the granaries connected. Okay. I think that'll work. Alright, back here. Just garden this, yeah. Okay, 106,000. We are now at our all-time high. But this row hasn't even filled in. Let's take a zoom out, take a step back. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, uh. Okay, let's make a save. Eight. Filling out edges. Oh, that. Oh, filling out edge is fine. Okay. Ah. Oh. So, the second area I set up here... Oh, I didn't put fountains, right. Uh, we are going to need fountain there. Fountain. What's the range here? To there, okay. Okay. Wait, where's the, the range on this? Here. Okay. Get those evolved. I find it interesting how these moved in, like the houses I put later moved in when these haven't moved in. I'm not sure exactly how they prioritize where moves in first. I always thought it was the ones you put down first moved in first, 
But they're kind of moving to the furthest away ones first. It's kind of weird. Uh, I can put a fountain there just to help evolve things a little bit. Just try to catch some tents. That covers those tents. Row of gardens. There we go. Evolve that. Okay. Need to have some extra fountains around the back here. Fountain. Okay. The edge's food supply is prepped. Uh, we just need to figure out how we put the granaries. Uh, how did I do it on this side? I have the farms and then the granary just at the end of the farms leave one tile. Right, then the... The granary actually goes up against the edge of the map. Okay, so if we're doing that... We basically bust... Four? And the granary goes... Yeah, so we bust the a road of four at the end of the farms. Like that goes there, that goes there, a little tricky at the place. Ah, oh, come on, that goes there, then it connects to the road like this. Right, and then we roadblock like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we're going. Market. Is this correct? Market, market. So we need a market on. Wait, no, that can't go there. Nope. We need that gap. For each set of farms, we just need 14 houses, so it's fine if there's. A little bit of inefficiencies. Oh, this is supposed to be connected. And we actually don't need that, but I guess we can have it anyway, right? Because we're gonna have a market here. And we're gonna have a market here. And here. Okay. 
theater. Next to every market. Uh, library next to every theater. The measurement's not quite even, but it should work out. And a Neptune temple, because that's what we're using around the edges. Like that road is just, yeah, yeah I can I can readjust that. Okay, so we need 14 houses, so we go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is a mess. Nine, ten. I've miscounted something. I'll come back to that. There's 10 over there. Let me do this one first. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Sever that. Connect this. So that actually feeds those. Ah, it's a space issue. Okay. Okay. We're at 111,000 people. <sighs> well, I will need fountains, won't I? Overproducing food. I think I gotta. Collapse this. I leave that there. Sever this road connection. Connect this. So that's just serving 10 houses. Uh, this should be serving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. That's now serving 10. This is serving 14. Okay, it's a little bit more cramped around the edges. I'm producing more food than we are using, but I think that's pretty much all I can do. And this. Oh, this is not road connected. That needs to be road connected. That's not road connected. Okay. Then we plaza the edges. Okay. And we garden. 
Make sure nothing's weirdly connected. Well, that would actually... Gotta be careful with this. Just garden behind the houses. Okay. Okay, I've filled out the edges. <laughs> then we're just... squeezing in tents wherever they fit, really. I should have a bit of extra space there. Okay. Um... I guess I might as well just fill in these gaps. Sure, why not? Things are stable enough. Let's fill these in. Okay, I never cleared them out from here. Okay, I'll leave tents because we can't spot those anyway. And I think, I think that's it. Um, I can squeeze some tents and stuff around, I guess. Who oh knows, some of those will just catch fire, won't they? Best not. Water here. Fountain. Fountain. Okay, those all evolved. Great. I should be able to support an extra house. Okay. I think. I think like all I can do is like squeeze in some tents wherever I think they can fit, like here. Might as well. Uh I think that's kind of probably not maxed maxed out, but practically maxed out. Like if I go around squeezing a tent here and there, it might go a little bit further. But that's essentially all I can do. So let's save here. Run to final. And I just speed up the game. And watch... Hopefully, as the number continues to rise. Call Nero, he'll burn it. Yeah. Nero burning Ron. <laughs> That was always a clever name, wasn't it? Nero Burning Rom. Hundred and fourteen thousand. We just let it run. We can't go much faster. I'm gonna turn off the monthly autosave so there's no lag, so that this is pretty much all we can do. <clears throat> that fourth row still hasn't filled in. We're at 115,000. We're about to beat that YouTube video. <laughs> the 116,000. Hundred and... Sixteen thousand!
Like, there's, there's nothing else I can do. I just need them to move in. Oh, the fourth row, getting some houses moved in there. There may be some instability, a tent, like a casa devolving to a tent. 118,000. Something wrong with the fourth row? No, it's just, you can only have so many immigrants per month, so... It just doesn't happen all at once. And for some reason, they all moved into my later blocks first. Which is odd. Looks like the edges... Oh, there's a problem here. We need a fountain. What's the range on this? There. Couple tents there, too big a deal. Evolve. Can I get these tents evolved? Yeah, let those evolve, sure. We're at 122,000. We hit our, we hit our, well, my first initial main target of 120,000. I'll just save here, in case it crashes. We at 120. Oh. Still a half the fourth row to fill in. You can see all the granaries have emptied. <laughs> I don't know if that's just gonna destabilize all the blocks. I could just go through everything and delete a 2x2 two two from every house if we need to re-stabilize. But as long as they're mostly small casas, it's fine. Because see, like here, we get a couple tents, but if we can't support the population in small casas, we want them to be tents anyway. Hundred and twenty-five thousand. We have twenty-two thousand unemployed at only sixty-seven percent. It was like eighty-something percent earlier. Do you need so much gardens? Um, you don't need so much gardens. Uh, where's my mouse? In the middle, between these blocks. However, the way everything lines up over here, we need one extra space. So it's just putting the. Like, just filling the gaps with the garden, like... Maybe there's a way to rearrange this, but you know, the thinner you make something, the longer it gets. You need eight farms per block. Preferably, it would be nine farms, but the only way for me to fit a farm here without... ...redesigning the entire city would be to block the entrance, which would de delete the houses, so that doesn't work either. Like, getting much more than this would be tricky. It would be tricky. Could technically fit like a row of tents here and here. No, no, no. What did I block off by doing that? Oh, I see. We need that open. 
and I'm gonna undo that. So you block off one entrance, it would probably devolve or delete the entire row. You gotta be careful. Immigrants still streaming in. We're about to hit 130,000. can see some fluctuation going down. Those would be the houses devolving from not having enough food. 130,000. Okay. Still going. These this, this row hasn't filled in. Look at this. There's still so much more. There's so much more to go. Like, I wasn't really counting on this final row of one, two, three, four, five, five extra blocks, and then the edge designs. Like, one of these rows was about just over 30,000. So, just the four rows is 120. Plus the uh, five extra blocks and the edges, it gets us much higher, much higher. Like, you could, you know, get rid of the water or, you know, just keep squeezing tents around everywhere. But I, I think whatever the population lands on is what I'm going to be happy with. Are these houses even filled? Yeah, the houses are filled. Well, not all of them. But yeah, they seem to be moving in to existing houses first before they go to the next one. So, leave that empty. Have some gardens there. Allow those to evolve, yeah. You can turn this into. Oh, there's a fountain there. Tents. Just squeeze some extra ones in there. Good. Hundred and thirty five thousand. Okay. Nothing's collapsed. The granaries all look empty, but they're still small casas. Uh, there's probably a tent here and there, you can probably see. Thing is it it restabilizes. The tent devolves, people move out. So then the block then has enough food. The tent re-evolves, people move in. So there'll be fluctuation. It won't be a stable it won't be a stable number, but there will be by doing a fluctuation, you can hit like instead of a stable number, there'll be spikes. So there'll be times where it is higher. There'll be times when it's higher. Alright. 26,000 unemployed in this city. Okay, the fourth row is almost fleshed out. Okay, I think we'll be hitting 140 something thousand. I mean, some of these houses aren't filled in yet. I 
I don't know how I could make it anymore. Come on, 140,000. We're at 139. Hundred and forty thousand. Ah. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. It's four twenty BC. What is the number going to settle at? Because see, these granaries are still full, which means people haven't fully moved into these blocks. They should be operating at a loss. Yeah, and these earlier blocks have not collapsed into tents. So it functions fine. Still see immigrants streaming in. Most palaces. Next challenge. Well, that would be hard, but interesting as well. 142,000. Just gonna make a save right here. We got 140. Oh, I put the wrong number, it's fine. You know, I probably have to let this run for a while. I probably have to let this run for a while and see where it settles. So I'm going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll see where it is. Okay, so I've let it run for quite a number of years here, uh, and uh, this seems to be where it stops and fluctuates. We're at 142,000, and it fluctuates up to 143, so 143,000 is my record, my personal record, <laughs> right? So this this is the small Casa city. Like, if I went around squeezing in tents, it wouldn't make a dent in what we have right now. I mean, look at our census here. This, this is our population, right? This is uh, our society. The, the small Casa, it's so big, it's just off the charts. You can see what it actually looks like is there. If I go here, uh, how do I... Can I get that to the... Yeah, you can see there, that's my population right there. This is the history of our population. It's more, it's almost triple <laughs> because the 512 is the max limit. So you can see it there. If I get society down to here, oh, I need to get, yeah. You can kind of see, I don't know, it bleeds into there. It's, it's hard to see anything. It's hard to see anything, okay, there, there it is. That's our population. You can see it fluctuating a little bit. But 142 to 143,000 is my record for the small Casa city. And I'm pretty happy with that. 140, 142, 140k. Unemployment, 30,000 at 73, 74%. 30,000 unemployed. Ah. <laughs> uh. But yeah, that, that's that's it. This is this is the small Casa city. You can scroll around and it looks the same everywhere. Wherever you go, it's the same. We've got enough houses for all the subscribers of the Game Zack channel, so Zachalites, move on in. 
pick a house. It doesn't matter which one. It really doesn't. <laughs> this this is what we got. This is what's on offer. Uh, you won't. You most likely won't have a job because only one in four people who are looking for work get work. Uh, but there's plenty. No, I was gonna say there's plenty of bread, but no, all the granaries are empty. You may just run out of food one day and just starve. But, you know, the food will come back next day when someone else misses it. Everyone's just fighting over bread, really. <laughs> All right! That is the small Casa City. 143,000 is my record for when it peaks up. 142,000 solid. It's been good. It's been good. I hope you enjoyed this, this attempt. <laughs> And I think I think it went well. I was really only going for 120,000. We went uh, we went we went pretty far. Uh, if you would like to support the channel, please do subscribe on Twitch, become a YouTube member, or support directly through Patreon at patreon.com/gimzak. Direct support like that means we run fewer ads on YouTube uh, because direct support is more important and more stable. So thank you so much for support and for everyone enjoy fewer ads on youtube because we've already quartered them that means 75 percent fewer ads than the norm on youtube by the way the norm is one every five minutes i run one every 20 to 30 minutes if you average it out through the whole video um if you'd like to join us on social media twitter instagram facebook at gamerzak on all of those i am active and contactable on all of those and of course the wonderful discord community of the zakalites discord.gg slash gamerzak uh, where we have many many people who hang out every day and if you're watching on youtube click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content Thank you all so much for joining. This has been Epic, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.